I'll tell you what's the worst part about television is the is the programming, yeah. the philosophy. Okay, I mean the the manipulating of your mind, the philosophy, the the the, the mentality, the the system of thinking, the ideology. That's what's wrong with television. That's what's wrong with movies. That's where they're really getting in your head. Take, for example, Walt Disney, right? And many people that will preach against the TV, they'll preach against the movies, they'll preach against Hollywood because it's obvious that that stuff is bad. But then they'll say, well, but we watch Disney movies. And I've been to the home of preachers and Christians who would never watch TV or the movies, but yet they have the whole library of the Walt Disney movies. You know those white plastic cases? And they have them all lined up. And I mean, they have tons of them lined up, of course. I don't know how many there are, but there's hundreds of them. They have them lined up and, and lined up, and they have their kids watching those movies all day long. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to prove to you right now that those movies are wicked. Say, what? Disney movies? Come on. You're crazy. They're rated G. Well, let's see. First of all, did you know this? Did you know that Disney movies are filled with subliminal messages? Subliminal messages. Now, we're ta- what are we talking about tonight? Sorcery. What are we talking about tonight? Uh, getting inside your mind and messing with you. Uh, controlling your thought process by, by uh, supernatural means or demonic means. Or Hey, I'm going to tell you something. Disney movies are filled with subliminal messages. And you say, oh, that's a hoax. I've seen it with my own eyes. When I was a teenager, I had a friend of mine sit me down at his house and show me the subliminal messages in the Disney movies. They're filled with subliminal messages. Let me give you some examples. The Lion King, filled with subliminal messages. Okay, all throughout the movie, there are pornographic pictures hidden in the movie. Like you'll be watching the movie and just for a few seconds, something filthy will come on. Like off to the side, there will be some kind of a, you know, reproductive anatomy will, will pop up. You know, over here. And then, and then over here, there's this one point where the lion, you know, he, he kind of goes like... Like this? And a cloud of dust comes up and just spells the word sex. And the word sex is, is put in the Lion King movie subliminally, literally, hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. The, 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 the shapes on the screen will spell the word. And I've seen it. I mean, I had my friend sit me down at his house... And pausing the movie, showing me the word S-E-X popping up on the screen at different times, because he knew where they were. And he would show me these things. Another one, uh, and they all are filled with it. You know, Aladdin is another one. In the movie Aladdin, uh, there's, a, there's a part in the movie where the guy, the, what's his name, Aladdin? There's a point in the movie where he tells Jasmine to take all her clothes off. But you don't even know it, unless you know it's there. You listen to it, and he mumbles it kind of under his breath. Leave me alone. So how's our little bow doing? So how's our little bow doing? And I mean, once you know it's there, you hear it just as clear as day. But you didn't know that it was there, you wouldn't hear it. And that the Little Mermaid has a, a filthy picture drawn in the cover on the front of the Little Mermaid. And nobody would realize it until somebody shows you and says, look at this. And you look at it, whoa! And all throughout the movie there are scenes, I'm not even going to describe some of the scenes in The Little Mermaid, where subliminal messages are coming on the screen. Uh, the, the other movie, uh, Beauty and the Beast, there, you know, a nude woman pops up a few times in the background of Beauty and the Beast, filled with subliminal messages. Your kids are watching it and their mind is maybe not even seeing it, but it's going into their subconscious. Words flashing on the screen. Over and over, S-E-X, 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 you know, nudity, uh, uh, filth, just all the smut is just coming on the screen. Come on, oh, those movies are harmless. They're filled with subliminal messages. Who knows what your kids are being programmed? Oh, but you know what? I'm sure that it's only just the Disney movies. I'll guarantee you it's the rest of Hollywood probably doing the same thing. And these Disney movies, at first when I was a teenager and somebody showed me this, I thought it was just a couple movies, a couple scenes, but you know... As time has gone on, I've realized that 
Virtually every Disney movie is packed with hundreds of subliminal messages to program the, the minds of your children. Okay, but then forget the subliminal message. Just the message of the Disney movies is perverted. Even if you just forget the subliminal message. I mean, for, what, what movies did we bring up? The Little Mermaid. You know, a half animal, half human being. And that's perverted in and of itself. All throughout the Bible, every false god is a half animal, half human being. They're constantly merging of animals and human beings. It's paganism. It's, it's wicked. And yet every Disney movie is pretty much based on the merging of a human being with an animal. It's described in the Bible. And, and uh, the, the movie The Little Mermaid, you know, she's topless the whole time, right? She's just wearing like a bikini top. How is that? Is that how you want your daughter to dress? Is that, oh, but there's no cussing, there's no nudity. Do you want your daughter going around in a bikini top? Is that modest apparel? Is that what Jesus Christ would have you to wear, ladies? No. The movie's filled with Satanism, witchcraft. There's some, what is it, Ursula, some witch that's casting spells and, and using sorcery and demonism. Oh, pretty innocent, right? All of them are filled with it. In, in the movie Beauty and the Beast, uh, the whole first half of the movie is these, these prostitutes in the town that are dressed just half naked, dancing around, you know, admiring this guy, the big, strong, handsome guy. But all these girls are dressed indecently. They're, 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 they're obscene in their gestures, subliminal messages. And then the whole movie is basically just exalting a certain physical standard of appearance. Beauty and the Beast is a movie about a woman who falls in love with an animal. And in the movie, they keep acting like, well, he's just ugly. He's not ugly, he's an animal. But there's a difference between being ugly and being a beast, being an animal. And if you've seen the, if you've seen the cartoon, it's an animal. It's like a dog. It's like a big dog man. Or I mean, it's clearly an animal, and yet she falls in love with him while he's an animal. You know, only when she kisses an animal does he become a human being. Oh, wow. And you say, well, what's wrong with that? Uh, read the Bible sometime. Hey guys, it's Jared. I pray this video has shed light on the satanic, luciferian, illuminati indoctrination of our children through subliminal messages and Disney movies. I understand that you may not believe this, but when you look into who is making these movies and you see the fruits of their labor, it all makes sense. Walt Disney was a Freemason obsessed with the occult and used his movies and his theme parks as a tool to indoctrinate the public into his beliefs. Club 33 in the Disneyland parks is symbolic of the 33rd degree of masonry. The symbolism is also put into the Disney movies. In the Dumbo movie, after getting drunk, Dumbo and the Rat have lucid dreams that contain satanic, luciferian, and illuminati symbolism. Disney also displays its corrupt satanic agenda through programming of their idols. They introduce innocent stars that slip under parents' radar and build up a fan base. As the idols get older, they corrupt them and send them on a crash course in a dragnet plot to drag some of their fans down with them. Examples of this are Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera. I know the 666 in the Disney name is hard for some people to accept, but it's not Walt Disney's signature, as many believe. It is a made logo, and even as a kid I remember thinking the logo looked odd. It didn't look like any D I had ever seen. The Y doesn't even look like a Y, and the squiggly above the I are all part of the hidden mark of the beast symbolism. Think about it. This mark is on everything Disney. And as if to affirm its importance and the Mark of the Beast promotion, on many Disney stores, Mickey's head is made with the same 666. If you still think it's a stretch, then you're probably comfortable with the hand scanning technology they are implementing for VIPs to enter their park and access their rooms. It is a forerunner for the RFID Mark of the Beast technology. They are getting the people ready. All these plots are satanic in nature. If you understand the Masons, Illuminati, and the times that we're living in, it should all be obvious to you. Jesus Christ came to save us from this system. In 1 John 2.15, he said, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Jesus knew this system that Satan was going to be creating. He knew about Disney before it was even here. Satan doesn't play fair. 
He doesn't wait until you get older before he starts trying to plant his lies in you. He wants to get kids as young as possible and indoctrinate them into his system. Jesus also said, What is highly esteemed among men is an abomination to God. The reason why these Disney movies are so prevalent, the reason why people young, old, big and small of this world are watching them, is because it is highly esteemed among men, and it is an abomination to God. Our Lord wasn't saying these things to keep things from us or to make life less fun. He was saying these things to protect us. He knew Satan's deceptiveness and his plot to destroy us. As we put our faith in Jesus Christ and his work of salvation for us from this system, and we live in the Word of God and in the Holy Spirit, we will overcome Satan's snares. As we get closer and closer to the end times, the devices of the enemy are going to get more and more devious. I have videos on my channel explaining some of these deceptions that Satan has laid before us, and I am making a playlist called Defeating the Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, this is our time to unite. Let us flee from the unclean thing, and let us put our eyes on the glory of Christ.